Nothing is fine. <laughs> Osborne Farmyard Tales by Heather Amory and Stephen Cartwright. The New Pony. This is Apple Tree Farm. This is Mrs. Boot, the farmer. She has two children called Poppy and Sam, and a dog called Rusty. Mr. Boot, Poppy, and Sam go for a walk. They see a new pony. She belongs to Mr. Stone, who's just bought Old Gate Farm, says Mr. Boot. The pony looks sad. Her coat is rough and dirty. She looks hungry. It looks as though no one takes care of her. Poppy tries to stroke the pony. She's not very friendly, says Sam. Mr. Stone says, she's bad tempered, says Mr. Boot. Poppy feeds the pony. Every day, Poppy takes her apples and carrots, but she always stays on the other side of the gate. One day, Poppy takes Sam with her. They cannot see the pony anywhere. The field looks empty. Where is she? says Sam. Poppy and Sam open the gate. Rusty runs into the field. Poppy and Sam are a bit scared. We must find the pony, says Poppy. There she is, says Sam. The pony has caught her head collar in the fence. She has been eating the grass on the other side. Poppy and Sam ran home to Mr. Boot. Please come and help us, Dad, says Poppy. The pony is caught in the fence and she will hurt herself. Mr. Boot walks up to the pony. He unhooks the pony's head collar from the fence. She's not hurt, says Mr. Boot. Pony's chasing us. Quick, run, says Sam. It's all right, says Poppy, patting the pony. She just wants to be friends. They see an angry man. It is Mr. Stone. Leave my pony alone, says Mr. Stone. And get out of my field. He waves his stick at Poppy. The pony is afraid of Mr. Stone. Mr. Stone tries to hit the pony with his stick. I'm going to get rid of that nasty animal, he says. Poppy grabs his arm. You mustn't hit the pony, she cries. Come on, Poppy, says Mr. Boot. Let's go home. Next day, there's a surprise for Poppy. The pony is at Apple Tree Farm. We bought her for you, says Mrs. Boot. Thank you, says Poppy. Goodbye, everyone, and have a nice day!